is Numeric Citizen. In today's video, I'm testing Craft on Windows. Check this out. So you might wonder why I'm testing Craft on Windows today. Um, you have to understand that Craft uh, was first launched on uh, the Apple ecosystem uh, two years ago. Uh, so the, the application was made available for Mac OS and also on iPad OS and iPhone. Uh, iOS because uh, the technology behind Craft is based on uh, macOS Catalyst. It's a technology which allows a software developer to build a software that uh, use each platform's own uh, visual uh, objects uh, in order to be um, uh, useful and well uh, designed. And Craft in that respect is one of the best Craft uh, one of the best um, catalyst app that I've seen uh, in a while. And when you see a company porting a software uh, on another platform, sometimes we do see some strange things happening in the design of the original application. And I wanted, I wanted to, to see if Craft on Windows suffers from this kind of uh, deficiencies. So for the purpose of testing Craft. Uh, I'm using a Mac Pro, an Intel Mac Pro, a 2013 Mac Pro, on which uh, I'm using VMware Fusion, a virtualization uh, application that will allow me to run a virtual machine, a Windows 10 uh, virtual machine uh, that you are actually seeing right now. So um, since my recording software is not installed on my on the Mac Pro itself, but on my Mac Mini, I'm remote. Uh, I'm connecting remotely to the Mac Pro using the excellent uh, remote uh, software called Screens. So bear with. Um, consider that this setup is not very optimal from a um, refresh rate uh, point of view. So it may uh, looks. Uh, Craft may look uh, like uh, to be running slowly. Uh, there's a virtualization uh, software uh, uh, running, uh, and also there's the um, the remote connection that will slow down things a bit. But uh, I must say that my uh, initial testing in this environment, uh, I do see a difference in speed. Uh, the difference is so it, it's pretty um, pretty big. So it means that. Even though I would be running the software uh, natively on uh, on the on the Windows machine, I do think that uh, the craft version of window on Windows is slower than on a uh, Apple Silicon Mac, for example. So that being said, um, I'm uh, going to uh, start the, uh, the, the the test um, so you can judge by yourself. So let me start uh, Craft on Windows. Double click on that and I'll wait for the application to, to launch and load the uh, content. The initial view is the own view of uh, the Craft environment. So uh, for obvious reason, I'm uh, connecting to the uh, my uh, own account uh, for using Craft. And if I click on the uh, start, um, a smart folder, you'll see that all my start, start document are appearing here. So you can see there is some sluggish in the scrolling, but it's again, it's because of my testing environment. Um, the first thing I notice is that we don't have the uh, the vertical bar on the left where we can pin a specific space in place. So this is one of the different uh, I can see here. If I go in the drop down here, you can you can see that there is this uh, space switcher where I can switch to a different um, uh, uh, space. Yeah. So I can easily go into this one and see how things are going. So it's pretty much the same um, uh, user interface uh, compared to the Mac version. Um, the other thing, if I go in this document here just by clicking on it, and I'll wait for the document to load. Uh, I do see uh, some differences in the, uh, the the font itself, which is a bit different. I think I prefer the one on the Mac. 
and so there's this is a table here you can scroll down just at the end of the document to see the content like that and if I go on the left um, the, this is the actual folders there and I do see that there is a uh, ellipsis here if I click on that there is a pop-up menu uh, something we don't have on the Mac version of craft and I think I, I would like to see this menu uh, be on the Mac version. I don't know why it's not available, but this is uh, something that is different compared to the Mac version. Um, this is one of the difference uh, I'm uh, noticing. The other thing I'm noticing is that if I go on the, I'll switch back to my private space here. And when the switching is complete, I'll go over the, um, uh, the digital garden that I'm uh, building and maintaining uh, within Graph. And I'll try to see, yeah, it's pretty much the same look and feel. If I go and hover the mouse over those um, link bookmarks to other section of the, um, on the, on the space, which holds the digital garden, you'll see that we don't get the preview of the actual document that this link is referring to. So that's the other difference that I'm seeing. So if I click on that, then I'll go to the, uh, the portion of it where I see the Apple rumor. And for some reason, uh, the uh, crap decided to open uh, another window uh, instead of just going to the actual documents so this is something weird and i'll go back with in the back home and then i'll be able to go to the um this, the root of the digital garden uh, that you see here so it's pretty much the same in this regard so um again the scrolling is not quite good because of this uh testing environment so i'll close this right there and uh, if I try to find, uh, if I look at this here and I click to change the um, the way, again, this is different compared to the uh, the Mac version, the drop down menu when you click on the uh, ellipses there for an image is different. Um, so I think I prefer that one compared to the uh, Mac OS version. Let's see how it, it is looking on the Mac. So I'll put that there. I'll switch to the um, to the to, to the macOS version of Craft. I'll go to the same place. In the you see the speed is quite different. I'll go to the rumors. If I go there, the drop down is quite different. I think I prefer the Windows version, which is surprising. So it's this the, the first thing I prefer over the uh, the Mac version. So I'll go back to the Windows version of Craft. So that's something that different that is different. Yeah, I prefer on on the Mac we only get this, but we have more things available on on the Windows version. So that's something that I prefer. If I go up and I look at the way we can change the header image, again, um, this is different compared to the uh, Mac OS version. Uh, we can randomize this. I won't hit that. I can select an image from Unsplash or insert, insert a, an image from a, a local file. Um, I think I prefer this design. If I go back on the um, Mac version and I'll scroll up, scroll up, I don't get this beautiful uh, drop down menu. It's only a, a list of items. So, I, again, that's the second thing I prefer over the, uh, the Mac version of Craft. So that's that's weird. I don't know why those two apps are not uh, displaying the same kind of menus. Um, the other, other other than that, I, I think it's pretty much the same uh, the same uh, look and feel. I must say that I'm surprised because it's uh, it's pretty close. Both experiences are pretty close to each other in terms of interaction and working with the. Um, the, the application itself. So this is uh, some past reading articles that I that I, have, I have saved within Craft for future um, references, and the design is exactly the same. Uh, if I want to change 
the this uh, uh, folder uh, content uh, format display I can click on that like on I do on the um, on the Mac and there's nothing I can do here I can just click on that to display a list or this uh, this display if I go on the uh, Mac version again if I go there I'll go on the past readings on the Apple I have a box boxes for each article and I can see that there is some difference I have this this is a view that is available on, on, on the Windows version or the list so this view here is not available on, on the on the Windows version of Graph so again I don't know why it's maybe it's a, um, a matter of time be, be before we see uh, those differences to, to disappear but for now um, it's different Let's go back to the Windows version. Um, it's, it seems to be pretty much uh, the difference we can see. Uh, the space switcher is different. As we can see here, it's not looking at the same. On, on, on the Mac, it's more like a pop-up with uh, all the, the spaces like uh, arranged in, in the form of a grid. Uh, I don't know which one I prefer. I think I, I, I like this one uh, better than uh, the other one on the Mac. I'm, I'm not sure. So that's the other difference. If I go in the imported notes, so those are the files I imported over time in Craft. Uh, most of, of them are um, markdown files. So again, that's uh, pretty much the same as we get on the Mac. If I want to insert from a template, um, the template chooser is pretty much the same too. So it seems that this is the only difference um, that I can see on the uh, Windows version, if I go again in the um, uh, the uh, testing purposes space, I'll switch to that, and I look at this document here. It's pretty much yeah, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, and I guess if I invoke the uh, um, Assistant, it will be pretty much the same UI. Escape to go back. It doesn't go back, so I'll click somewhere. I'll invoke again the um, slash menu. So this is pretty much uh, working as expected. Then, yeah, so this is, I think it's pretty much it covers uh, the most um, obvious differences between uh, the, the Windows version of Graph and the Mac OS version of Graph, which I think is a pretty good um, uh, example of what a developer takes care of porting an app to another platform. Uh, the results are pretty uh, convincing. So I think it's pretty much it. Well, it seems I'm not completely done with the differences. Uh, there is two other things that are different. First is at the, on the top bar here, we don't have access to the focus mode where we can make the user interface kind of disappear and uh, uh, focus only on the document content. So it doesn't seem to be there on the Windows version. And the other thing is uh, that we I cannot change the width of this uh, navigation uh, portion here. It's uh, a fixed. It, it, I cannot change resize it to make it uh, look for uh, larger uh, document titles. On the Mac version of it, I can just drag this here like that, and it will just adjust accordingly, uh, but not on the Windows version. So that's the other two differences that I, I found. I did uh, spend more time within uh, Craft on Windows to find out if there was any more uh, more differences, and I could not find any uh, difference. Uh, I mean, uh, inserting documents, drag and drop from a, a, a file on the desktop, and bringing it, bring, uh, bringing the file on top of the Craft window will insert the file. The um, the card formatting option uh, dialog box is again it's the same uh, type of formatting that we get on on the Mac version of of Craft. Uh, so again, I could not figure out what the other differences are. Uh, if you do find other differences, uh, please uh, don't be shy and post uh, your comment in the comment uh, below this video. I'll be I'll be more than happy to 
to see if there is any more differences that I'm missing. So again, uh, Craft on Windows is a very good in implementation of Craft uh, that we have on, on the Macs uh, for, for uh, two years now. So I'm pretty impressed with the what I'm seeing. So if you are not a Craft user, but you are considering using it and uh, you are wondering if this is a, a good Windows citizen, um, my conclusion is very simple. Yes, it is. Uh, Craft is a really good uh, Windows application. Uh, it's a 32-bit application, though I found out um, uh, a while back. And uh, I don't know why it's not compiled for a 64-bit environment. I, I guess it's for compatibility purposes. Uh, but again, it's a really nice implementation of Craft, uh, which is coming from the Apple world. So don't be afraid and go ahead and you, you will be uh, happy with uh, the end result. So that's it for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it was a special video for me to do. Um, again, uh, subscribe to the video, uh, to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, drop me a comment, don't be shy. Uh, so see you guys for another one in the future. Peace, bye.